Now, I've done a video on this little beast before on my old channel. There's not many videos on there. But this is the Playmates Fun to Drive Corvette Racing Dashboard, I believe. This is the equivalent of the Tomy Turbo Dashboard thing, but this is better. I might be biased because I had this when I was younger, but it, yeah, it just oozes more quality. It's got pop-up lights. It's got you know, all these can gauges. I'll show you in a minute. But I wanted to revisit this because I now have in my possession a clone of this, which is in a bit of a tatty box. But this is the Learn to Drive Highway Patrol version, which looks like a shit box at the moment. But if you open it up, it's, yeah, it's very similar. It's got uh, lights on the front. It's a lot smaller. But it's got the uh, gear stick and it's got the key to turn it and the little car which is slapped on the screen so it can navigate the never-ending continuous road that drives you to pure insanity and makes you want to kill yourself via this convenience. So I want to have a look at this and this and compare them and let you experience the joys that I did when I used to play these in my youth day after day. Night after night, over and over again, never ending the loop, never ending loop. So first we'll look at the Playmates iteration. There it be. As you can see, it's got a car printed onto the screen, which makes it much more shit, shall we say. But you know, the effect works. Your car doesn't move, obviously. What happens is you turn the steering wheel and the road moves. This takes quite a few batteries. Look at this, it takes four D-cell batteries. And you know how I feel about D-cells. Well, you probably don't, but I do. They are not cheap nowadays. Pack of Duracell D-cells can set you back about 10 quid. Luckily, I've gone down the cheaper tightwad route of Tesco. Ah! D-cell batteries, although they seem to have expanded from the 80s D-cells because either that or the plastic's contracted, it's harder to get this panel back on. It's, it's almost like the acid inside the batteries has expanded and taken on new levels. We'll just we'll do that. So, here you go. Here's the Corvette dashboard. You turn the key, switch it on. Presented with this lovely sound that you just can't beat, can you? And there we go, slow gear. You can move the road left and right. And you can see it repeats roughly every two seconds, maybe three. There's that car. There it is again. There it is again. One, two, it's about every two seconds the road repeats. It's on a loop inside there, and it just goes round and round and round. You can speed it up and you can make it repeat every one second if you fancy a bit of variety. We've got indicators, left and right, which... Pop on these little lights here. They don't flick. Yeah, that one doesn't even work. And on the front, pop-up lights. Whoa, look at that, it looks like some sort of frog. Hello! My name's Corvette the Frog! What the fuck are you doing? And... Um, yeah, you can see these dials move and it's incredibly loud. Um, also, also, there's some fake air vents and a CB radio, like all Corvettes have. I can't have a Corvette without a CB radio. If we move on to the learning to drive copy, shall we say, you will see immediately on the box that it looks very similar, the road. Realistic engine sounds, mm, we'll find out. Working patrol light, a wide screen. It's quite wide, it's wider than the other one. Ages three and up. If we open the box, apparently this is how you open boxes in the 80s. 
There it is, it's like a little dinky baby version. Now luckily this one takes C batteries. So I can compare them side to side and have a massive crescendo of sound which will burst your eardrums and possibly kill your face. All of C batteries, oh, C batteries don't seem to have grown. They seem to be fine, fit rather splendidly. So there we go, here we have success. And if we, whoa, that's quite, I quite like that. We've got the working light up here. My God, this one's rapid. One. Two, oh, look at that. Imagine driving at that speed down the road. Fuck you, people. As long as there's a pedestrian crossing there. That, someone's crossing the road there. Fuck, aren't they? That is immense. Obviously, it's a police car, so they can get away with killing civilians. And what I like about this one is when you put it in neutral, no sound, whereas that one trumps away like some sort of diuretic donkey. And here we have uh, any lights on the front? I oh, haven't got working lights. But yes, it's a dinky little model, I quite like it. If I put batteries back in the dashboard thingamy jog, thingamy jog, thingamy jog, thingamy jog. Thingy jug. That is the official song that goes with putting batteries in the turbo racing dashboard. As you can see, the Playmates logo there. Can you see that? Try and get this compartment back on. Come on! Come on! You can do it! Come on! I like to give myself a little uh, boosts to the ego. Alright, here we go. So. Noisy as hell, less noisy, slow. Let's see if I can both get them in a level crossing. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Now this one definitely goes quicker, look. It's gonna lap it soon. And if we move it to high speed. Well, that's fast. But, you know, if that was the baddie in the Corvette and this is the cop car, they'd be busting his ass. This one lacks... I'll turn this off so you can hear me. This one lacks the uh, rev counter and uh, miles per hour and the odometer. But that is not important because they do very little. Although, add to a child, these are, were very appealing to me. I used to think, well, look at that man, I've got some speed on it over there. It's a true reflection of my speed. It's absolutely amazing. And of course, this has got the, imagine the Corvette having that horn. Get out of my way. <laughs> I'm like Gordon the Gopher. So there we go. There's the competition to the Termo, Tommy, 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 Turbo Dashboard. And, you know, I think it's better than the Turbo Dashboard. The Turbo Dashboard had its merits, but it just couldn't stack up. Like a rabid lunatic, I almost forgot to show you the spectacle that is these things in the dark. So, let me show, oh God, I can't see anything. Let me show you. This is the cop one. Oh yeah, look at the lights. It's like being at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, except more fun. Ah, look at this one. Oh yeah, let's pop the lights up. Ah. You can't beat it. Check the front lights. You can see the uh, road through the casing because the plastic is so disparately thin. And both together, Disco! But it's better than a disco! It's a raging car inferno disco! Woo! That's more than enough fun for one night, I think. No night.
Thank you for watching my inspection of these Tomy Dashboard clones. Please check out my other videos, I do lots of other types including scripted reviews, not just inspections like this. If you get a chance, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, good night.